just show you how to set yourself up. So you've opened up to animate. That's what it looks like. Ta da! Okay. So the first thing you might want to do is you might want to, instead of a white background, you might want a different background. So if you click on this picture with the two little mountains and the sun, okay, there's a few options here. There's loads of pre-drawn ones, which are really, really good. Um, but you can also take a picture of yourself or something in the background. And you could use that in your, um, uh, you can use that as your background. I'm not going to use that because I look terrible. Hello. There we go. You can even choose your own file. So if you've got a picture that you want to use or you can find a picture from the internet that you want to use, no problem at all. Or you can even draw your own background. Oh my goodness me. Possibilities are endless. Um, I'm going to choose this one because um, my plan is about someone who gets knocked over by a car. Not the nicest, but I'm going to try and make it a little bit funny. If that's not too morbid. Okay. So, and then you can uh, add it to every single frame that you're doing or you can to one frame so you can change your background if you want okay now I'm going to use all frames because I'm a bit lazy unfortunately so that's where I am so far so remember when you're drawing um, you need to make sure that the movements are that big nope that big nope that big no. teeny tiny movements the smaller the movement the smoother your animation are you going to trick your eye and your brain to think that it's actually moving Okay, so I'm going to get a pen. I'm going to draw my stick figure. I'm constantly looking at my plan now. Uh, I'm going to start on the uh, left-hand side here. And I'm going to draw my little stick figure. Okay. And uh, this person's going to be walking along the road. Now, remember, something's going to be coming from the sky and miss him like that. So I'm going to go to my next frame here. Um, and then um, I can't see him, so he's gone. So what I need to do is I'm going to use this onion, and it's called onion skin because then I can see where my person was before, and I now now know that the movement needs to be about there so that it looks like the person is moving. Okay, so you can see that that's how close the two need to be. So then I move on to number three over here. And that's where the person is. So I then I need another small movement. Trying to keep the same height and the same shape. It's not always the easiest, but give it a good go. Like so. Gone to number four. And I think you get when you get to number four, you can see there's no more, but there is a little plus purple plus button beside it. So I'm gonna click on the purple plus button and number five is up. Okay, so. I'm going to do my magic, speed the editing up, and I'll see you in a few minutes. I want to take you all the way back to the beginning. Okay, number one. I'm going to press play. I'm going to show you. Um, so walking along, the rock misses his head or her head, and you can see there's something he says there. Okay, so this is where I'm at now. I'm going to just press stop on this. I can slow it down if I wanted to, but the best thing about animation is that the quicker it is, and that if you've done small movements, then you can see that it's really smooth and it flows really nicely. Okay, so I'm going to press stop. I'm going to press this one, which takes me right to the end. Now, here's something I literally just found out. Okay, if I go to number 21, and if I just drag that over to number 22, it duplicates it. So I don't need to do it again, okay? And again, if I add another one, I can just drag 22 to 23, and then I can drag 23 into 24. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I want people to be able to read the word phew. If I just left it for one frame, it's really hard for your eye to gauge what's actually being said when you're doing writing. And rather than writing out five, six, seven different frames, I can just copy it. I might even do it one more time. Let's see how that looks. So 24, drag it in. There we go. So let's now play it from the beginning, shall we? So you can see that the word few stays on there for a little bit longer and people are able to read it. Okay, so if I just go to the end again. Now then, what I'm going to do this time is, again, I'm going to copy. Oops. I'm going to copy 25 into 26, drag it into that. 